guys for being here. I love you all already. You're beautiful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the JB Webb Show. You are listening to the sounds of the one and only Miles Davis. Columbia Records, kind of blue. All right, you got your plug in there. Why are we so somber? Let's kick it up a little, Miles. He's got good reason, though. He's teaching you a little about the blues. And uh, I am JB Webb. I am here uh, live with you, and I have a uh, great artist interview today on tap. And we're just going to dive right into it because uh, he's got a lot of things cooking. So uh, this artist has to do with cake. And uh, I know you may think, oh, it's cake, the artist. No, it's a cake artist. And his name is Paul. Paul Joachim. It's Paul Joachim. Joachim. All right, so I actually say the J. That's cool. Everyone, everyone gets it wrong, so. All right, good. Well, good. I'm. I. I don't like to be alone or when the lights are out. So, um, anyway, just kidding around. Paul, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for your time. Um, Thank you. Thank you. You. You are a really cool guy. Uh, you're a cake artist, and uh, the first time I met you was at Nude Night. You had some great. Uh, uh, art on display there and uh what i wanted to do was really just kind of jump right in and learn a little bit about your background because we've been talking a little bit but i think it's important to get kind of a raw understanding of how did you first get involved with art and how did it you know blossom into what you're doing now well i mean i i've always loved art i went to school for art i've got a uh, a bfa from florida state university very nice and while i was there People are concentrated on a little bit of everything. So they had nothing to do with food at all. And really, when I when I started college, I, I could barely cook. And I taught myself how to cook in college. Okay. And while I was there, I studied painting and sculpture and and drawing mainly. Well, you, your work is really incredible, and I mean, uh, dare I say, I mean, there's a, a heck of a lot of engineering in there as well, and I wonder where that came from, you know, but the obviously what you're telling me, the background with the art, it's it, it's kind of founded in, in, in your work. 
um, I'm showing pictures of the different works that you've done, and it just range from you know incredible. Uh, you know, Renaissance style pieces uh, to more personalized and uh, replicas of faces. And so it's just incredible. So how did you make the jump from, or what happened back, you know, so you're teaching yourself to cook and then, and then what happened? Right. Well, I would say about five years ago, I got a chance to do a cruise ship cake for a party. Okay. And it, it really was, came out amazing. And that's when it, it really dawned on me that I could actually use cake as my medium oh. and I, I did never really even consider that before this was like four ace of cakes before that really got popular so when and, uh, when was that that was about five six years ago okay all right cool so you you made this jump you realize wow i've got this ability to you know kind of take this unique medium and and make non-traditional art out of it uh, do you have uh, feelings of like oh how, t- how much time that took I mean <laughs> and then people can just eat it in a night right <laughs> so, do you have feelings of like oh you know how long that took me <laughs> well the thing is not really because the thing is it's all about I mean for me it's about expressing myself in that medium but at the end of the day it is a cake right okay. so I, I, there, there's, there's something comforting and amazing to be able to create this piece of artwork and then someone experience it on a right. level that you normally can't experience art. Right, yeah. You actually or food, you to, yeah. You get to touch it. Or food. You get to smell yeah. it. You get to taste it. You get to eat yeah, it. That's pretty yeah. unique. No, you're right. And you're definitely right on to that. I mean, the... The beauty of what you do, it, I, I'm curious to find out. Does are you messing with other mediums? You know, what, what else are you getting into right. over there? What else are you doing? Is there anything you can share with us? Some other stuff you're experimenting with, or uh, what? That's not edible stuff. I mean, I well, a little bit of painting, a little bit of drawing. Okay, a little bit of um, clay work. Oh, awesome! Yeah, I love yeah. clay. I love clay. It's, it's mostly been cake lately. Okay. Yeah. You know, but I. But I do try to balance it out with some traditional stuff. I've been talking to some artists here in Orlando about collaborating and oh, getting beautiful. more involved in the artist community at large. Okay, that's, that's cool. Something else that's really important to me. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. Well, you're on the right show, brother. So, uh, you know, uh, so that's fantastic. So, um, all right, cool. So you heard it there. You know, he's looking to collaborate with uh, local artists in uh, traditional, non-traditional mediums. So, uh, you know, get with uh, Paul Joachim. Wait. You're welcome. Joachim. Okay, I'm gonna get it wrong every time. So just uh, give me that. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Yeah, I'm shooting from the ladies' tees up here. So hold on. Um, all right. So you have a company now. It's called Art Edible. So this has gone so swimmingly well. You've actually formed a company. You actually do uh, events and special events and can make custom creations for parties and events, right? And that's through art ArtEdibles.com. And I'll pop all this up there, but. How long has that been in existence, and, and how has that been going? That's been in existence for about six months. Okay. It's just really going amazing. Awesome. And the momentum that I'm getting and the publicity that I'm getting has just been incredible. That is awesome. Well, uh, you definitely deserve it. You're, you're bringing something so unique to the table, you know. Uh, it, oh, well, there you go. So there's my pun, unique to the table. You know, I mean, the saxophone, uh, the dog, the, uh, uh, you know, the car. I mean, all of these uh, things that I, I, I've seen you do, uh, you know, vicariously through Facebook. Uh, it's right. amazing. And, of course, the live thing at Nude Night. So, so that's great. So uh, I want to encourage everyone who's out there watching, chilling out, you know, Saturday, Sunday, rainy afternoon, whatever, uh, watching our show, uh, get in touch with Paul. And uh, do it through Facebook and do it through artedibles.com or uh, do it through uh, some other form of communication because this guy's uh, uh, really looking to grow as an artist and uh, he's already shown some in quite impressive growth. So all these pictures I think are rolling live and what I'm going to do uh, because we both have stuff going on here is thank you kindly Paul for your time today and uh, I, I hope uh, maybe again we can chat uh, later on as you progress. I appreciate your time too, Joe. That sounds great. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks so much. And uh, uh, we're going to close out here with a little bit more of the sounds of Miles Davis. And uh, uh, Paul, do you have anything in the oven while we're waiting or no? A little bit of dinner. Okay, just some dinner. What are you making for dinner? Uh, Some salmon. 
Oh, that's interesting. Nothing uh, crazy. Nothing, nothing, nothing too over the top. Franken salmon or anything, right? No. Okay. Yeah, um, hold on. There we go. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> Thank you. 